if you study the Muslim sources critically, i.e. without presupposing that Islam is true, you'll notice that practically everything in Islam is taken from somewhere else. Muhammad took things from the Jewish Talmud, from heretical Christian groups, from the pagans, from the Persians, from the Sabaeans. And when Muhammad was collecting these teachings and practices, he obviously couldn't tell the difference between what's true and what's not true. Since Muhammad was somewhat reckless in his use of materials, we would expect him to get a bit confused here and there. For instance, the Arabic word for Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the same as the word for Miriam, the sister of Moses and Aaron. So we might expect Muhammad to be confused about this because he didn't know much about Jewish and Christian history. Interestingly, the Quran does confuse Mary, the mother of Jesus, with Miriam, the sister of Moses and Aaron. Let's look at the Quran. Surah 19, 27 through 28, referring to Mary, the mother of Jesus, reads, At length she brought the babe to her people, carrying him in her arms. They said, O Mary, truly an amazing thing hast thou brought, O sister of Aaron. Thy father was not a man of evil, nor thy mother a woman unchaste. Notice that the Quran refers to Mary, the mother of Jesus, as the sister of Aaron. Here, Muhammad obviously thought that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was Miriam, the sister of Aaron. This is simply an error in the Quran. Now, Christians during the time of Muhammad recognized this error, and they pointed it out to Muhammad's followers. In Sahih Muslim, Number 5326, we read, Mugira bin Shuba reported, When I came to Nadran, they, the Christians of Nadran, asked me, You read, O sister of Harun, or Aaron, in the Quran, whereas Moses was born much before Jesus. When I came back to Allah's Messenger, I asked him about that, whereupon he said, The people of the old age used to give names to their persons, after the names of apostles and pious persons who had gone before them. So Muhammad's response is that people during the time of Mary would refer to a pious young woman as the sister of X, where X might be a prophet from 1400 years earlier. The problem is that we have no record of such a practice in first century Israel, and we don't even find this practice elsewhere in the Quran. The obvious conclusion, then, is that Muhammad simply made a mistake and that he tried to correct it by making something up. His followers didn't know that he was making it up, but we know that there was no such practice in first century Israel. Two more points are worthy of note in this narration from Sahih Muslim. First, the Christians of Nadran knew nothing of the practice of referring to pious young women as sisters of some prophet even though they would have been familiar with traditions about Mary. So they understood this to be an error in the Quran. Second, the Muslim who went to them clearly didn't know that this was a figure of speech. He was totally stumped by the refutation. He had to go back to Muhammad for an answer. So Christians knew nothing of the practice Muhammad referred to, and Muslims who had been reciting the Quran in Muhammad's presence were never told that sister of Aaron was a metaphor. They only heard about this when the error was pointed out to Muhammad. But we can go further. We know from the Muslim sources that Muslims were convinced from the Quran that Mary the mother of Jesus and Miriam the sister of Aaron were the same person. In Ibn Kathir's commentary on Surah 1928, we read this. Muhammad ibn Sirin stated that he was told that Kaab said, the verse that reads, O sister of Harun, does not refer to Aaron, the brother of Moses. Aisha replied to Kab, You have lied! Kab responded, O mother of the believers, if the Prophet, may Allah's prayers be upon him, has said it, and he is more knowledgeable, then this is what he related. Besides, I find the difference in time between them, i.e. Jesus and Moses, to be 600 years. He said that she remained silent. Look at what happens here. Someone tells Aisha that Mary, the mother of Jesus, isn't the sister of Aaron and Moses, and Aisha calls him a liar. Why would she call him a liar unless she was absolutely convinced 
that the Quran says otherwise. And if she was convinced that the Quran proclaims a single Mary, who was both the mother of Jesus and the sister of Aaron and Moses, shouldn't it bother Muslims that Aisha was led into error by the Quran? Shouldn't it bother Muslims that Muhammad never explained this to anyone until it was pointed out as an error? But things get even worse. The father of Moses, Aaron, and Miriam was a man named Amram, or Imran in Arabic. First Chronicles 6, 1 through 3 states, The sons of Levi were Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amram were Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. Now, think about this for a moment. I'm claiming that Muhammad didn't know the difference between Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Miriam, the sister of Aaron and Moses. If I'm right, we wouldn't be surprised to find Muhammad identifying Mary, the mother of Jesus, as the daughter of Imran since Imran was the father of Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Not surprisingly, this is exactly what we find in the Quran and the Hadith. In Surah 3, 35-36, we read, Behold, when the wife of Imran said, O my Lord, I do dedicate unto thee what is in my womb for thy special service. So accept this of me, for thou hearest and knowest all things. When she was delivered, she said, O my Lord, behold, I am delivered of a female child. And Allah knew best what she brought forth, and no wise is the male like the female. I have named her Mary, and I commend her and her offspring to thy protection from the evil one that rejected. Mary's mother is called the wife of Imran, making Imran the father of Mary. We find the same thing in Surah 66, 12. It says, And Mary daughter of Imran, who guarded her private parts, and we breathed therein of our spirit, and she verified the words of her Lord and his books, and was of the devout. Again, in Sahih al-Bukhari, number 3769, we read, Allah's messenger said, many amongst men attained perfection, but amongst women none attained the perfection except Mary, the daughter of Imran, and Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh. Notice that Mary's mother is called the wife of Imran, and that Mary is called the daughter of Imran. Are, are these metaphors too? Was there a first century practice according to which a pious woman would be called the wife of the father of a prophet, and her pious daughter would be called the daughter of the father of a prophet? This, this is just getting silly. The Quran identifies Mary, the mother of Jesus, as the sister of Aaron and the daughter of Imran. There was a woman named Miriam who was both the sister of Aaron and the daughter of Imran, but she lived well over a thousand years before Mary, the mother of Jesus. If Muslims want us to believe that the titles sister of Aaron and daughter of Imran were just metaphors, we have to wonder why the author of the Quran would pass on such a confusing collection of metaphors with absolutely no evidence that these metaphors were ever used in the first century. Doesn't the Quran claim over and over again to be clear? If it's so clear, why did the Quran lead Aisha and the other early Muslims into error? Why was Aisha ready to proclaim that anyone who says there were two Marys is a liar? Why did the unbelievers during Muhammad's time point to this as a clear error? The only reasonable conclusion to draw is that Muhammad didn't know that Mary and Miriam were two different people who lived more than a thousand years apart. And if the Quran got this wrong, what else did it get wrong? Stay tuned.